This is Eric again. We're still out in the backyard smashing fruit with things. I wanted to go ahead on this video and show you some of the maces that Screep and I have made or worked on. And then we're going to try them out and smash some coconuts. So this is the first one we made. It's quarter inch thick steel plate that Screep cut up and re-welded into a flanged mace. And I love this. I love the flange mace. It's on a pretty small, I think this is like three quarter inch thick oak dowel, but it's just the right length because this thing doesn't need to be heavy. The idea of a flanged mace is that it localizes the force into one of these flanges and just cuts in like a can opener right through whatever you're hitting. So I have no doubt this thing's going to obliterate a coconut. The next mace we're taking a look at is one that I made with the help of Screep and a guy named Mark Wisdom. Mark, shout out to you. Thanks for helping out. This is a six pound shot put, a standard high school shot put. Although it's important that you not get a cast iron shot put because that's brittle. It's going to crack if you hit anything solid with it. So this is a turned steel shot put. Uh, and the turned steel shot put, you can actually drill holes through it. It doesn't, it doesn't break under a drill bit like some cast iron might. So we drilled a one inch hole down the center and we said, let me get rid of this tape measure. And we set it on an ebony shaft because I wanted it to be on a really, really hard wood since this is six pounds of steel. Um, we did lose some weight when we drilled the hole down the middle, but after mounting it on the stick and we put a steel, uh, what do you call it, a shim, a little steel shim in the head, but then we also drilled a horizontal hole through the shot put and set a quarter inch thick steel pin through it. Uh, and then we have all of that, which it ended up being 6.4 pounds when we were done working with it. The whole thing is about 25 inches long. And then one of my trademarks, I just use a little galvanized steel plumbing cap on the other end. This thing is a mauler. I actually built this to do mace workouts with, but I can't play around with a fitness mace without wanting to smash something with it. So we're going to try this one out too. The last one, the biggest mace, and I guess this might be more of a scepter almost. It's called Gatekeeper, which I burned into the handle right here. It's an oak shaft with a cast iron ball that was on top of one of my gate posts. So I live in a pretty old house, I think it was built in the 30s, and the gate posts had these big cast iron balls on top, just like finials, just decorations. And they just came right off, and they had about, I don't know, maybe a two inch or one and a half inch socket. So I was able to use, you know, some step downs and some reducers and some plumbing parts to set this onto this oak shaft. And then the same thing I did with the cross pin, with steel pins going through um, on my shot put mace. I put three pins through this, so there are actually two pins holding this step down, this steel collar right here. And then there's a pipe inside the steel collar that goes into the socket on this cast iron finial ball. And then there's another steel pin that goes through the collar at the base of this ball. So this thing is pretty tight, pretty solid. And again, we got a plumbing cap on the other end. So we're gonna try this out too. This beast, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's considerably longer, which creates a lot of force when you swing it. Definitely a two-handed weapon. This one's 41 inches long. So we're gonna give Gatekeeper a try as well. <laughs> All right, first up is the flanged mace. Uh, I give this a 100% chance of working just based solely on what a flanged mace is designed to do. It's gonna cut right through that coconut, no problem. All right, that was my fault. I didn't get a good good square hit. Square. Very direct hit. Square hammer. All right. Oh, waiting for this one. Next up is the beast. We haven't even named this thing yet, the shot put mace. Um, I think it might actually shoot the coconut off to one side. The flanged mace was catching in the coconut flesh and then skipping the coconut off one direction or another. I tried to mitigate that with this hemp rope, but I don't think it's going to work well enough. So this may take a few tries for me to get a direct enough hit to smash the coconut, but I am actually more worried about this mace destroying my picnic table. I have no doubt this would smash through a house if I needed to walk through a house where there weren't any doors. 
Wow. All right, <laughs> it works. Now the shot put mace has a stylish little hat. He can wear the skull of his enemies like a, like a wig. All right, last one. Now my backyard looks like a fruit salad slash murder scene. This is Gatekeeper. Um, I actually don't know how Gatekeeper is gonna function. I'll tell you one of two things that's gonna happen. Because this ball is cast iron and it was cast probably out of the lowest quality iron they could find. Prop the process was probably cheap because this was always intended to be a finial cap for a gate post. So it may break, it may shatter. Uh, but if it doesn't, I can tell you by the weight that this thing will pack a hell of a punch. It may do both, we'll see. <laughs> uh, coconut is in many pieces and Gatekeeper is solid. Yeah, this thing is a beast. <laughs> I was actually recording that whole time. All right. There's not. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha.